<clears throat> so that first numerator has a GCF of 2. So we'll take that out. X minus 3. We'll take that out. I'm going to go ahead and um, write that first denominator as x minus 1 times x minus 1, just so it's a little bit more clear how these things will cancel. So we're going to multiply, multiply by the reciprocal. So that means what was in the second denominator is now going to be in the numerator. So I'm going to go ahead and factor that and put it in the numerator. That would be x plus 3 times x minus 1. And then what was in the second numerator is now in the second denominator. Uh, it has a GCF of x. We take that out, we get 2x minus 3. So we've got an x minus 1 in the top and in the, oh, I missed something there. Sorry, nobody said anything. There should be a 2 right there. The very first numerator, when I took out the 2, you're left with 2x minus 3, not just x minus 3. Well, it's probably thinking that you still want to say it, right? So 2x minus 3, we also have that in common, numerator and denominator, but then that's it. So final answer, 2 times x plus 3 over, put that x in the front, and x minus 1 is what's left in the denominator. Let's look at another one. It doesn't matter what variables we use. We have all kinds of letters. Let's look at one that has y's instead of x's. y squared minus y minus 6 over y squared plus 6y plus 9 divided by y squared minus 4 over y plus 3. <coughs> All right, first numerator, y minus 3 times y plus 2. First denominator, y plus 3 times y plus 3. Okay, the second one flips over. So that second denominator, y plus 3, there's no factoring to be done there, but it moves to the numerator. And the second numerator moves to the denominator. It doesn't really move, but when we flip it over, it ends up in the denominator. And it factors into the difference of perfect squares. So y plus 2 times y minus 4. y squared minus 4, that's the difference perfect squares. So it factors into y plus 2 times y minus 2. Alright, so let's see here. Um, we've got y plus 3 in the top and in the bottom. We've got y plus 2 in the top and the bottom. Uh, and be very careful, okay? The y minus 3 is not the same factor as y plus 3. So you've got to leave it. And that's the final answer. Okay, two more examples, and then you get to give your hand, uh, give it a go. <coughs> All right, so x plus y or x cubed minus x squared divided by x squared minus y squared over x squared minus x. So we've got a little bit of a blend. We can have more than one variable. We've factored stuff like this before. Okay. That first numerator though can't be factored. x plus y, that's in its simplest form. The first denominator has a GCF of x squared. When we take out x squared, we get x minus 1. Um, 
it may be helpful since there's so much factoring and stuff going on for you to kind of right over to the side. Go ahead and flip it over and then start factoring. I probably should have done that from the beginning. but um, So take out an x. So we get x minus 1. x squared minus y squared is the difference of perfect squares. That is x plus y times x minus y. So we have x plus y in the top and the bottom. We've got x minus 1 in the top and the bottom. Remember, x squared there can be written as x times x, so we can cancel one of those with the x that's in the numerator. So we've got 1 over, we still have an x, and we still have x minus y in the denominator. All right, the last example. I want to make sure I cover all my bases. x squared minus 2x minus 63 over x plus 1 divided by 9 minus x over x squared minus x. This one has a couple of things that we haven't really run into yet. <clears throat> All right, x squared minus 2x minus 63 would be x minus 9 times x plus 7. First denominator, no factoring to be done. All right, now I'm going to do what I did in the last problem. I'm going to go ahead and flip that second one over, and when I do that, um, that that numerator is not in standard form. We're not used to seeing x come second. We're used to x coming before constants. Okay, so um, I'm going to change that order. It's negative x and positive 9, so I'm going to write it as negative x plus 9. So when I factor this, the numerator has a GCF of x. When we factor that out, we get x minus 1. The denominator has a GCF of negative 1. We want to take out that negative from the x. Because if you look at the other part of the problem, there's something very close to that, but we need to see if we can make it that. And we can. If we take out a negative 1, that becomes x minus 9. So we can factor out an x minus 9. And that's the only thing we can factor out. Sometimes you can only factor one thing, okay? So in the numerator, put that x in the front, x plus 7, x minus 1. Okay, other than that, it doesn't matter if you write the x minus 1 first or the x plus 7 first. <clears throat> I don't care as long as your x is in the front. And then that negative 1, we don't leave negatives in the denominator. So I'm going to, we can, we can just slide that up to the numerator. So I'm going to make that a negative x in the numerator. And then we've got x plus 1 in the denominator. And that's it.